Well, hey there. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo channel. My name is Mark. I'm your host for this video session. And this is my shop dog, Stella. And you can see that I accidentally petted her this morning and got a big old grease stripe from my greasy fingers on her head. That's part of being a shop dog. Isn't that right, Stella? You got some greasy stripes. Speaking of greasy stripes, you guys have been following along my channel. You'll know this is the Two Stroke turbo channel so we do more than just cars right because there's two stroke vehicles in the world that are not cars and this happens to be a relic <laughs> ancient form of transportation from days gone by it's kind of a fun little ride i've had this for a while it's the complete opposite of a hayabusa or a ninja or the fastest thing out there it's the exact opposite and that's okay i'm okay with that it's a 50 cc moby which is a mobilette av88 and it's from 1959. it's really really a cool bike it was out behind my home garage under a tarp for years i thought i seized the engine i got it running here a couple months ago and then Somebody invited me to a ride tonight, and I thought, well, what the heck? Why don't I get this thing going? So let's fire it up. Let's see how she runs and show you a little bit about it. Uh, first off, let me show you where this came from. So back in the day, Sears and Montgomery Ward sold imported scooters and motorcycles. This is made by Riverside or sold by Riverside. It's a Montgomery Ward's special. There's the VIN number and engine number if you care to see that uh, but it is really a mobilette and the reason I know that is because it says so the details are really intricate there's the exclusive BP zoom gas cap the gas cap has a dipstick in it so you know how much is in there it holds about a gallon it is a frame tank in other words this is the tank the valve is down here on the bottom and that's where the fuel goes into the engine and I've put on an aftermarket shutoff valve because I didn't didn't have that when I got the bike. I got nothing. It pulled it out of a dumpster. It was being trashed. Uh, but back to what it is. It's a mobilette and I believe the town in France is, is it Pantene? There we go. That's a better view of it. I'm sorry. Motivacon, mobilette, Pantene. Pantene, probably. Uh, it's French. It's a French bike. Uh, ooh la la. It's, you know, it's dented and dinged up. It's a really cool color. It's this copper color. It's dirty. I'm sure the shocks are blown out, uh, but it is pretty cool. I got it going with a six volt coil from a Vespa and the headlight is from some other scooter. And <laughs> this is, the lens is from a Chinese scooter. The bezel is from some other scooter with a uh, odometer, speedometer, which is not correct. That is a video, so it's. I think this is from a Pook. Yes, I believe this is from a Pook scooter. I had the seat redone in alligator wrap, which kind of looks pretty good. And I put an LED tail light on it just so we got some lights. The headlight and the tail light work, but no turn signals or anything. Let me fire it up for you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the gas on. I'm gonna get on the bike. I'm gonna twist the throttle backwards. To engage the compression release and that is this little valve right here on top of the cylinder so that I can pedal it and then at the same time I'm going to push the choke this is the choke so compression release on choke on and then as it's turning as I'm pedaling I got to give it gas to get it started let's see if I can do all that with you on the bike here so I'm going to get it up to compression stroke get it oh boy it's harder than I thought there we go, got it. We got our gas on. The little float should be floating. Hope it keeps running. A little cold. I'm gonna rev it up. This has what's called a variator. When that pulley gets going fast, it comes together, the belt gets bigger, and the whole thing pivots on this motor mount. I'll show you how that works. Let me rev it up for you. Ready? I'm going to reach my hand up here on the throttle. 
and I do so. Are you ready? Watch the watch the pulley and watch the engine rotate backwards. Time to let off on the throttle. Now they'll come back to idle. That's how we get our speed. It'll go 40 miles an hour if you get it up on the big, the big pulley there. You can also switch this pulley and make it freewheel and or pedal it like a bicycle. Pretty cool little machine. Very fun. You see our tail light is lighting up, barely. And our headlight is lighting up, barely. Not a super powerful charging system, but it is so fun to ride, and I can't wait to take you guys on a ride tonight. So hang tight, and let's get ready. we got to put our helmet on. Okay, so I got my riding apparel, a helmet, and some gloves, and a knapsack. And we just rode four miles, and you can tell I'm out of breath. This thing is a rough rider, but I did want to make sure it would ride a few miles. I'm hoping that we don't go more than 25 on the ride with the scooter gang tonight. So it's not leaking any oil. It's not smoking profusely. It hasn't killed me. It's weird not having rear view mirrors though. I wish I had those and turn signals uh, and a license plate. So we're just kind of riding incognito, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, see how it goes. Let's carry on. I arrived at the destination. I've got the Moby all warmed up, made it to five miles here, and looks like I'm riding with a bunch of modern scooters. I hope they don't uh, leave me in the dust. Well, Moby's only 50cc. Those guys are, I don't know, 200s at least. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Oh, there is one 50cc. I'm pretty sure that's a 50cc. Oh, we're going up the motorcycle. The scooter run out of gas. All my buddies are here. Kind of fun to ride. Now we'll just cut it off. My lights are not very. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. Just want to keep running. Yeah, give it a kick. Okay. That was super fun. Yep, yep. Okay, we made it home. It's dark. Stella missed me. She can't ride on the scooter. This thing was really, really fun. Boy, my butt is sore. Let's get back on there. There we go. Didn't miss a beat. The lights are too dim. The brakes are not strong enough. And the padding in the seat is not sufficient. But everything else. It's just fine. You gonna ride that Stella? It's a little scooter. You love that thing. I do. That was super fun. We went about 25 or 30 miles on that thing. I gotta let my back kind of restore itself. It's a little stiff. Alright, so it's the next morning after riding the little scooter around town with the St. John's Scooter Club. Stella, my shop dog, is sleeping in the car as she normally does. And I don't know if I did a proper outro. I put the the bike in the garage last night. It was uh, dark and it was a lot of fun. Let's see if it leaked any oil overnight. Uh, it did. The thing was super fun. However, lights are, I mean I'm going to pick it apart here because the lights are too dim. I got to figure out a brighter six volt bulb for the headlight at least. The suspension is Totally bad. I either the streets in Portland are just potholed and cracked. I felt every bump. Um, and part of that's the seat has no cushion. It looks really cool, but I need a pad or something if I'm going to ride this thing seriously. And other than that, it was totally reliable. The idle's a little high, but I knew that going in. Um, it was super fun, super reliable, and I don't even know how much gas it used. I don't think it used much. It didn't use hardly any. It's still full. 
I put a gallon in, there's still a gallon in there. So it's very, very easy on fuel and it didn't smoke, which I was concerned about the other riders behind me, you know, breathing the two stroke exhaust. They said it wasn't an issue. So I'll go with that. Super fun. It's pretty fast. It's uncomfortable, but it is a blast. And I hope that <laughs> this video comes out good because it was a little jerky. I couldn't film while I was riding just because I had to keep my hands on the handlebars. It's a bit of a handful to ride. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video. And uh, I hope you enjoyed putting around town with me, even though I didn't show a lot of it. <laughs> it was my dream to get this thing out and going at least one time during the summer. I haven't had it out in 10 years, probably, or more. Uh, again, I dug this thing out of a dumpster probably 20 years ago, and I've been tinkering, tinkering around with it ever since. It's super fun, and it's totally worth it. All right, see you later.